Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian, and today we have a very special guest on the show, my friend Hyla. Welcome, Hi. Hyla. Thanks for Thanks. being here. This is our first video in the prenatal series, and obviously, as you can see, Hyla is beautiful and pregnant. So today we thought we would share with you five safe poses for every trimester. So these are things that you can do at home and that feel safe and supported that you can feel good in and repeat so that you're taking time to connect to your body and connect to baby and most importantly, connect to your breath. So if you're ready, we'll just jump right in. I'm ready. All right. So Hyla and I are both in a nice, easy uh, cross-legged position. We can be cross-legged or um, we can also go one foot in front of the other, which is, uh, Siddhasan, and you have nice open hips already, so this might be comfortable for you. But if this is not comfortable for you, you can come to that crisscross applesauce. Something you're gonna be saying in no time, trust me. I have 10 kids, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we're in Siddhasana or Sukhasana, just a nice, comfortable seated position, where we will take the right hand to the belly. Mm. Hi, baby. And the left hand to the heart. I want to take a second, I know, and bump our mics <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> and we'll just take a second to tune in here, so nothing fancy. And this, uh, I say this to Hila, but I also say this to you, my friends, that there's no right or wrong here. Um, for me, especially in prenatal yoga, the goal is to uh, connect to baby, nurture the body, nurture the baby, but also just support your intuitive self. Which sounds kind of cheesy, but, but it's, it's, it's really so beautiful and so important as you prepare for birth to connect to your intuition. The body knows what to do, so just kind of support that with a little breath and a little faith. So we'll just start by checking in with the breath. So we'll loop the shoulders forward, up and back. And we'll exhale, maybe close the eyes or soften the gaze here. Soften the fingertips as we connect right hand to belly, to baby. And Hyla was just telling me she had a prenatal massage yesterday and um, the lovely lady who was rubbing her said to move the hand clockwise, right? Clockwise to help digestion. Am I doing it clockwise? So you get a little bonus there. Yeah. Um, so we might incorporate that. Again, I feel like that's about kind of using your intuition. So all the information you learned yesterday coming into the practice. And then we'll find stillness there. And then just take a second here to use the hands to kind of uh, scrape or graze the heart. Just kind of activating. Nice little boob rub there too. And so the reason I do this is because we kind of get into that yoga robot mode, especially if you've been practicing yoga before where we're just like, okay, right hand to belly, left hand to heart. And we just kind of get into the sensation of it all. And then we'll close the eyes. And just notice the breath. We just take a moment here to honor the breath. Each inhale, a breath now for mama and baby. And each exhale, an invitation to create space to release any stress, any tension, any potential worry or fear of the unknown. Soften the skin of the face, even relax the jaw here, and just find a moment of peace. And on your next inhale, we'll take a deeper breath. And on the exhale, blow it out through the lips softly. Let's try that again. We inhale, deep breath in. I'm like we're blowing out birthday cake candles here. And again, we inhale. This time as you blow out, slide the right, excuse me, the left hand all the way down to meet the right. So now we have both hands here on the belly. We'll just 
just continue with that breath, inhaling in through the nose and exhaling out through the lips, the mouth. And we'll keep that going here at your own rhythm, Hyla, nice and easy. Inhaling in both for Hyla and baby. Exhaling to create space and cultivate peace. Inhaling lots of love in. And exhaling lots of love out. On your next inhale, gently slide both palms now up towards the heart. We'll bring the palms together here. Let's take a couple more breaths. We might begin to deepen the breath, inhaling in through the nose. And a long exhale out through the lips or the mouth. So you can keep this going, Hyla, and I'll just talk to you guys for a second. So as we move into prenatal practice at whatever stage, I encourage you to kind of take a break from these powerful, feisty, fiery, heating breaths and move into a more calming pranayama practice. And Tyler and I are working on a series where we'll, we'll do more cooling, calming breaths. Um, but as you work at home, I encourage you to just kind of lay off those feisty breaths for a while. The body already has a lot of heat. Depending on what trimester you're into, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. So focusing on an inhale through the nose and a nice soft exhale through the lips might be useful for you. Great, we'll keep the heart lifted here, my friend, and draw the chin to the chest. And just a little invitation for all of us to just set an intention for the rest of our practice here together. Maybe taking a moment to talk to babe, or even focusing on one word to be the mantra for our practice. Shoulder blades melt down towards the base of the spine. We go ahead and breathe into the back of the neck here. And once you have your intention or your one word, again, it can be quite simple. It can be ease. It can be love, trust. Once you have your intention or your word, we'll take a deep breath in, confirming it. And a long exhale out through the mouth, affirming it and we release. Great, we can bring the palms face up, take a deep breath in, and bat the eyelashes open. And we're in, awesome. All right, so the first pose we're going to learn today is a gentle chest opener, uh, really great if you're experiencing heartburn, also just nice for the chest, um, the neck and shoulders, and then also a gentle twist, to kind of get fluids uh, movement, moving, <laughs> movement, and, um, you know, the, the thing about the twists is that we want to be super mindful, but I think that this is one that um, we can, you know, just feel safe and grounded and comfortable in and also just nice neck and shoulder opener. So, Hyla's sitting in a nice, comfortable cross-legged position. Um, she has nice uh, open hips, but we're going to go ahead and we've propped her up on a blanket because I recommend that you do that. Um, most gals will have a bit tighter... Uh, hips and so lifting the pelvis up onto a couple towels or even a block or even a phone book. Wait, nobody has phone books anymore. Hopefully you they don't. Still get them. Why do they, they deliver just, them still? It's I ridiculous. Know, you can't not get them. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's appreciate them for yoga. <laughs> yes. If you still have those dang phone books, get one, sit up on it. So we're lifting the pelvis um, just to allow the weight of the legs to release down and find a little more openness and spaciousness in the hips. So we've lifted high up on one blanket. You can lift up on a blanket or two or a phone book. Towels work too. All right, so we're gonna sit up nice and tall and lengthen up through the crown of the head. Go ahead and take a second to loop the shoulders forward, up and back. Just nice gentle rotation in the shoulders. Then we'll take the left palm to the right knee, nice and easy, and swim the right fingertips behind. So unlike reboot where we're really, you know, moving behind that right shoulder in a, like an active hatha yoga class. I just said hatha, I never say that, hatha yoga class. Um, we're just going to keep it nice and stacked. 
So head over heart, heart over pelvis, and now more than ever in your yoga practice, it's so important to deepen the breath, right? Because we're not just inhaling in for one now, we're inhaling in connecting baby and mama. So you can close the eyes here and breathe. Shoulder blades come in together and down, just a little energetic drawing down. And Hila's nice and open here in the shoulders, but maybe as we move on, we get a little more tight. So this is nice and easy. Then again, we're not gonna crank here, but we'll just slowly draw a line with the nose past the right shoulder. So rather than pulling that right shoulder back, we're just checking in the head and neck. And it's pretty gentle here, my friends, using the breath. Good. Beautiful, then we'll drop the chin to the chest and slowly release, come back to center, lift the gaze, look forward. Loop the shoulders again, forward, up and back, and then we'll take it towards me. Right palm comes to the left knee, left fingertips swim behind. Beautiful. And so resist the urge, my friends, to really crank into the twist like we often do in class. So just nice and easy, keeping that lift up through the chest, that lengthening through the back body, the shoulder blades. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then again, rather than cranking towards the left, just consider drawing a line with your nose past the left shoulder. As we do that, we draw down through the right shoulder, which is looking beautiful here, and breathe into the neck. Great, then drop the chin to the chest. Gorgeous, we'll release back to center, and we'll just take it to the uh, other side one more time. So nice and easy, left palm to right knee. Right fingertips swim behind. She's nice and stacked, head over heart, heart over pelvis. So even though we have a little bit of weight right in the, in the forward, we wanna keep head over heart, heart over pelvis. There's a tendency to lean back here, which could be a little uncomfortable for babe. So let's keep it nice and stacked. And then for this round, Hilo, we're just going to loosen it up through the neck. So we can get a little freaky here. So we can look past the right shoulder or we can begin to draw a couple circles with the nose. And this will be definitely to each his own, checking in with the neck. Staying nice and loose. Beautiful. And then when you feel satisfied, take a deep breath in and use an exhale to unravel it back to center. Loop the shoulders in between, smile, lift the corners of the mouth slightly, and then we'll take it to the other side. Right palm to the left knee, left fingertips behind. And then same thing, it's all you mama, just checking in with the neck, finding what feels good. And as we move along, you might notice um, unnecessary tension in the neck, in the face, in the jaw. So keep the jaw relaxed. I like to remind um, my mamas, my friends, to soften the area between the two eyebrows, even the space between the upper lip <laughs> and the nose. Just kind of softening and relaxing. Yes, beautiful. So it seems so simple, but the more we begin to expand our awareness now on softening and releasing, the more we're gonna be able to do that when it's time. You know what I'm talking about? When it's time to be loose and free and soft and release, great. Great, then we'll come back to center and one last time, take a nice loop of the shoulders as you breathe in and we exhale, blow it out. Gorgeous. Alrighty, my friends, so the next thing we're going to learn is cat-cow, which we are probably most familiar with. So we're going to come to all fours, just in case you're not. We'll walk you through the alignment of knees directly underneath the hips and wrists directly underneath the shoulders. 
Beautiful. And you can see how already is um, practicing just awareness in the neck, uh, remembering that the neck is a beautiful extension of the spine. So she's extending through the crown. In fact, you can release in the neck just a little bit to show them what that would not look like if you just drop. Yeah. So she's broadening through the back of the neck. Quite beautiful. We'll draw the shoulders away from the ears. Just take a second here to breathe. And then we release the floodgates open. We soften through the elbows, yeah, and drop the belly. Inhale, look forward. Tailbone rises. And we're not pushing, we're keeping it nice and soft here. As we exhale, start at the tail and then travel up the spine. So rather than drawing the navel up towards the spine, we're just gonna consider hollowing through the upper back. So inhale in here and exhale, we hollow, rounding the spine. Gorgeous. And then you can just move in your own time, Hyla, moving back and forth. Nice and easy. Beautiful. And then, actually, Hyla, you might even widen your knees just a hair. Just give yourself a little more space here. Inhaling, we drop. Heart looks forward, opening the throat. And exhale, softly rounding up. And she's taking her time, which is beautiful. We want to slow it down. In fact, in all cases, I think, in cat cow, we can benefit from slowing it down a little bit, but especially here. Really connecting to the spinal flex here. Keeping soft, of course, in the belly. We'll just do a couple more here. Once you get the hang of it, you start to feel good, you can close your eyes, go inward. Visualize the spine from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Awesome. Then we'll bring the two big toes together. Widen knees a little bit wider. And we'll just do it a couple more times here. So for this time, I just want to offer you the option, my friends, my viewers, to move in circles. You can do like a drunk cat cow, or you can begin to shake the hips a little left to right. You can begin to maybe move the hips to the left as you look past your right shoulder gently and just kind of check out the side body nice and easy. It's all about creating space and maintaining a sense of ease. We never want to push in, in particular in this cat cow or this all fours pose. We don't want to push ever, right? Right. <laughs> let's not be pushy, guys. Well, let's not push till it's time to push, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, never knew I had prenatal jokes in me, uh, labor jokes. Okay, so then we'll come back to tabletop position, my friend. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a long exhale out through the mouth. Beautiful. Okay, so from all fours, you can send it back now to extended child's pose, which is where we're headed. So the sit bones melt back onto the heels. And so we can add a little space here, depending on where you are at. You might uh, just stay on the fingertips. And Hyla's, uh, you're 26 weeks. weeks right now. So Hyla's 26 weeks. She can go ahead and go into this with a little support. Um, so I'm bringing a little gift here of a block, obviously. <laughs> and I just put a little lavender on a little tissue here. And if you like it, you can use it. And if you don't like it, you can move it forward. So we're gonna come to rest, yeah, on the forehead. And this is a nice, cooling, calming place to put a little pressure at the third eye, if you will. And then, um, how are your shoulders feeling here? Uh, shoulders are fine. So a little tight, okay, or, or feeling fine. If they're feeling a little tight, my friends, you can soften through the elbows here, just bending a little bit. But it looks like she felt good, so whatever feels good for you, Hyla. Great, then nice, easy breaths here as we open the chest. Knees are nice and wide. Good. They have to be, because there's a yeah. big basketball yeah, between them. Yeah, just a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just take a couple breaths here, letting the weight of the heart melt down. The shoulders soften and release. May I touch your back? Mm -hmm. And then if you have a partner here, they might take a couple hands to the lower back, just gently guiding. This is just a soft, I'm not putting any pressure at all, just a little power of touch in the lower back to soften and release.
Beautiful. And then we'll just take three to five breaths here, my friends. Focusing on your mantra. Inhaling nice, long, smooth, deep breaths for baby. Beautiful. So we can take a second to rock on the forehead a little bit here, Hyla, especially if you have that block there. It's nice just to massage the forehead. And we'll activate through the fingertips. And nice and easy, take a deep breath in, exhale, blowing it out through the mouth. And then we'll use the palms to gently walk it up nice and slow. You can press into the tops of the feet as we slowly roll it back up. Beautiful. How do you feel? Good. Excellent. Yeah, that forehead pressure was really nice. Yeah, it's a nice little pressure point to just kind of calm the nervous system and cool out. And it's amazing. I know it just it kind of seems silly, but it's amazing what like a little essential oil will do <laughs> in the morning, um, after a nap, after like an afternoon nap, and then before bed. And um, we'll list some, some essential oil options for you guys on the website. Somewhere, some, somewhere, sometime. <laughs> Okie doke, so for this next pose, we're gonna come to standing. <laughs> and we're going to connect to a little strength. So strong for mama and baby. Um, so perfect. I was already uh, stepped just about hip width apart and then we're just going to inch a little bit wider. So a little bit wider than hip width apart. So uh, finding a nice strong stance, strong and supportive. Then we'll bring the hands to the belly. Take a second to loop the shoulders forward, up and back. Reconnect to your breath, my friend, my friends, mamas of the world. And then on an exhale, we'll slowly begin to bend the knees. So it's a nice easing into this goddess pose here today, bending the knees. And the knees are gonna go out towards the toes. So the tailbone lengthens down. But rather than drawing the navel to the spine like we know to do in goddess pose, we keep it nice and soft here. Moving the hands on the belly if that feels good. Or just connecting to the breath in stillness. So this will be a little bit different for everyone, uh, but we're checking in with the legs here, lower body. So knees are bent, hands are resting on belly. Great, then we'll inhale, rise up, lift up through the crown of the head, and exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, press in all four corners of the feet, gorgeous. And exhale, trust yourself, bending the knees deeply, goddess pose. And inhale, we reach up. And exhale, bending the knees, goddess pose. And this time we stay here, connecting to the breath. So we might just stay with hands on belly here, or we might experiment highly with bringing the palms together at the heart, pressing the palms together, lifting the sternum up to the thumbs. Gorgeous. So strong legs here, and this is a, a strengthening pose. So nice, cooling breaths as we inhale in through the nose and out through the mouth. Hang with me, doing great. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll inhale in and on your next exhale, Hyla, just carve a line with the nose past that right shoulder again. Strong for mama, strong for baby here. Inhale in, exhale, come back to center and we'll carve a line with the nose, excuse me, to the left side now. So we're creating a little heat in the body. We're pressing into all four corners of the feet. We're breathing nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Gorgeous, my friend. Let's take one more breath in here. And on an exhale, gently melt it back to center. Great, smile, take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, strong mama, as we press into the feet, straighten the legs. Great, here's where we get, we go sister, woman, sister. We're gonna open the palms here, keeping the pinkies and the thumbs together. Nice little mudra here. And once again, we reconnect to that word or that mantra your intention. Then we inhale in here, my friend, and exhale, 
hands to baby. Awesome, just take a second to notice how you feel. Hmm. Alrighty, so for our final pose today, we're going to come back down to the mat. Take your time getting there. And as you can see, well, we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together and the knees nice and wide. So again, I mentioned before, Hyla has amazing, beautiful hips. So we're not gonna prop her up on a blanket. Thanks. You don't need that blanket. But if you do, feel free to lift the hips up here or give yourself a little extra uh, padding with a towel. Uh, again, just lifting the pelvis up it's just a little more conducive for some whilst pregnant. Okay, so we're gonna grab the ankles, Hyla, here today. Loop the shoulders forward, up, and back, and just sit up nice and tall. Permission to lean a little bit forward, which you're already doing a little bit naturally, listening to your body, and again, connecting to that intuition. So you can inhale in, and then exhale, close the eyes, and we're just gonna take a couple breaths here. So to be perfectly honest, Hyla, your hips are so flexible that here it might feel like you're kind of not doing a lot, practically nothing, right? Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> So, but for most moms or um, women, uh, we might just need to breathe here, letting gravity do the work, letting the weight of the thigh bones melt down on the exhale, letting the knees open wide and the heart stays open and lifted. Beautiful. So then we'll slowly transition to interlace the fingertips around the toes. And we might have this tendency to collapse in the chest, which Hyla is absolutely not doing, so this is gorgeous. But if you are uh, tending to kind of round the shoulders forward or collapse in the chest, give yourself that sweet reminder again to just open the chest and heart. And again, nice, long, smooth, deep breaths for mama and baby. So you can stay here, or we can guide the heart down a little bit, coming into a gentle forward fold. So the goal is really not to bring the nose to the toes, but just to fold forward nice and easy finding what feels good. You can relax the weight of the head over if that feels good, Hyla. Yes, gorgeous. And we'll take two to three breaths here, nice and easy breezy. Beautiful, Hyla's checking in with the neck and the shoulders, soften through the jaw, maybe lick your lips here. Take this time for you and babe. Then to gently come out of this, we'll lengthen the tailbone down and slowly draw the chin into the chest to roll it up. Cool. So from this cobbler's pose, we're gonna do a little two for one here, my friends. See, really get your money's worth. Um, and we're gonna take it to a reclined Supta Baddha Konasana, so, or a reclined Baddha Konasana. So stay where you're at for now, Hyla. And we have some bolsters here, but you can do this with body pillows, um, or you can practice this with just a couple normal pillows stacked up and the knees nice and wide. So we're gonna use two bolsters here for a highlight today. Um, if you do have some blocks and bolsters, um, it's nice, it's a nice treat, especially when you're moving with the uh, babe. So I'm OCD and this one has a tag that I wanna not use. Oh, that one has a tag too, okay. Well, so much for being OCD. You're like, I'm waiting. Okay, so I'm bringing the pillow, or the bolster in this case, right up to the base of the spine. This should feel good. And then she'll inhale in and exhale, slowly begin to melt back. So we just have a gentle incline here. I got you. And after all these looping of the shoulders, this time we'll inhale, loop the shoulders, and on the exhale, we just let the weight of the arms go. So the arms can spill left to right. And then again, Hyla's nice and open in the hippies here. But sometimes it's nice to support the knees, particularly, so most ladies' knees are right here. <laughs> Seriously, including mine. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and give you just a little support for yummy's sake, but she's nice and open. And so don't fret if you don't have all these props and bells and whistles. Um, you can get them in time, or you can just use towels. Um, we can even pillow the head here, my friends. Be lifting neck up a little. Is that all right? Is it too much? Mm -hmm. okay. And then letting the hands either come onto the belly or rest gently at your sides. I can put some blocks here for you. 
just to rest the hands. So the name of the game, I like this one has my name on it, like the old. So I can't take it. Yeah, don't take this block. <laughs> so the name of the game here is support, right? We're nurturing, creating space. And using the breath to connect to the body, connect to baby. Remembering that each breath is an opportunity, a pathway to a more happy and healthy pregnancy. And of course we know the happier and the more healthier the pregnancy, the happier and healthier our labor. Here we just rest and relax and how you decide what feels best. Palms face down or palms open up. Can we just take three to five breaths here, my friends? Closing the eyes, softening the lips. If you're at home, you might take a second to um, make sure the temperature in the room feels good. Maybe to put a little music on and use this supportive posture as an opportunity to really, again, connect with the breath. Each inhale, an opportunity, a pathway to a happier, healthier pregnancy. Each exhale, an opportunity to create space, to find looseness, strength of our prenatal practice now with a little bit of grace and ease and relaxation. Okie doke my sweet friends, thank you for sharing your time and your breath and your practice with me. Hyla, thank you so much for being, uh, actually you're the first person to ever be on Yoga with Adrian. We always yes. knew that would happen, but it finally happened, yay! <laughs> and actually, for us too. Hey, good job, guys. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? Good, very relaxed, yeah. Cool, so these are things that you can do at home. Um, you know, you have access to these bolsters and blankets and stuff, but if you don't have those things, don't fret, it doesn't mean you can't do these postures. Um, these are all things that you can do without um, props and that you can do even without a yoga mat. Just a nice, comfortable, clean space for you and babe to connect with the breath. I was thinking, yeah, like a firm couch cushion would probably ah, be a good bolster replacement yeah, too. Yeah, actually the couch cushions on my couch are like too firm right, they're not very comfortable to sit couches. on, but yeah. they're yeah. <laughs> great for yoga bolsters. Yeah, so that's a, that's a great tip. Anything else you can share with our lovely mommies? It was just interesting. I haven't actually done yoga since my first trimester because I know what to do and I couldn't do the stuff I used to do so yeah it's neat having to make adjustments for having like yeah your body parts are in a different place yeah. now <laughs> like you mentioned the one in the twist like yeah I'm not used to my <laughs> boobs being in the way of yeah. the twist <laughs> so it's good it's like it's like a exploration in a whole new way I can't imagine it's so beautiful well, thank you again. Um, if you enjoyed this, I invite you to stay tuned. Hailey and I are gonna continue to work on a prenatal series. Uh, we're gonna have some lady talks and labor tips that will be for free. That's how girls do. That's from the music man. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, pick, pick, pick. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it won't be like that. It won't be like that, or will it? The musical references do come out when you're pregnant, I hear. That's true. The hills are alive. Okay, so we'll save that for the lady talks, maybe. Um, so join us for that. Lady talks and labor tips. Uh, we'll also have another video here, uh, which is a modified sun salutation for mamas. Um, and if you're interested in more, Hyla and I are creating a series just for mama and baby to prepare you for the healthiest and happiest pregnancy of your dreams. And birth. And birth. Yeah, there's some good labor and delivery stuff in there too. So. If you're interested, check out more information down below, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Tyla. Thank you, mamas. Namaste.